Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy and welcome to the Madden Madness Championship. Today we get to crown a champion. Both teams have won four straight games to get here, so either team can really win this thing. It's the Cowboys facing down the Titans in a matchup where both teams have been running the ball exceptionally well. In one corner you have the Cowboys, who have been dominant with Ezekiel Elliott, and in the other you have the Titans who've been using their quarterback as a second running back for big success. So who you got? Let us know in the comments below and like the video if you're excited to see what happens. So, it's the Titans, it's the Cowboys, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Tennessee will kick off to start, so they'll get the ball to start the second half. And the kick is away. And the ball's dropped out of the end zone. Smith picks it up, and it's going to cost him seven yards. That's not a good way for the Cowboys to start off. It's the first month opening kickoff of Madden Madness so far. And out comes Dak Prescott. Prescott's got one touchdown so far. Coming against the Vikings in round four. Elliott's been the man of the, of the team though. Five touchdowns. So far in Madden Madness. For the opening play of the drive, Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott is brought down after a two yard pickup. And the Cowboys have had a brutal schedule to get here. They had to beat the Eagles, Redskins, Seahawks, and Vikings to get to this point. Ezekiel Elliott has run the show, scoring five touchdowns so far, including two against the Vikings in round four and over 150 yards on the ground in that game to win Elliott will need to have another outstanding game on the ground if he has another big day the Cowboys will be champions as Elliott makes two men miss in the backfield and he's got a first down and that could have brought him into a second and very long, actually a third and very long, but instead Elliott's able to spin around two defenders and break loose. The Titans definitely have to make those tackles if they want any chance to win this. First and ten now from Dallas's 36. Cowboys come out in the eye. Quick pitch to Alfred Morris. And Morris gets a gain of one. Bringing up second and nine. And the Titans have beaten the Jags, Jets, Browns, and Texans to get here. They just keep finding ways to win. In each game, Mariota has done the damage with his legs, getting more yards on the ground then in the air in all four games to win today the Titans have to find a way to get to the Cowboys all the way to third down preferably 
creating third and longs. The Cowboys are less than 33% on third down, so they'll be in trouble if they have to get a lot of third down conversions. They have to stop Elliott to do this. They also have to stop that man right there, Alfred Morris, who's got a first down. Cowboys march out to the 47. Just about four and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Titans showing blitz. Prescott will throw. Dump off to Elliott. And Elliott's brought down. Good open field tackle. Plays good for about three yards, bringing up second and seven. Alright, second and seven, Cowboys will break huddle on their inaugural drive of the game. Three wide, Witten in motion, Prescott under center, hands to Elliott, and Elliott's got a big hole. Ultimately brought down at the 29, it's a 15 yard pickup. And if the Titans want a chance to win this game, they have to stop him. Can't have open field like that. And the Cowboys are in field goal range. But if you remember against the Vikings, Bailey's missed three of four in that game. So he's definitely not a lockdown for a perfect game in this one either. Prescott hands to Morris up the gut. And Morris has about three yards on the pickup. Three rushes for 21. Not bad. Williamson gets credit for the stop. Prescott under center, running formation for the offense. Hand off left to Morris. And Morris is brought down. It's third down. First third down of the game. Third and nine. So that's exactly what Tennessee had, has to do. Create those third and longs and make Prescott throw the ball. Just under two minutes left in the first. As the Cowboys come out for third and nine. Three wide. Tennessee showing blitz. Prescott. Throw toward the sideline and knocked down. Could have been intercepted. But instead brings up fourth down. Williamson almost had a pick in back-to-back -back games. Threw right to him. I don't know if he was trying to throw the ball away or if there was a miscommunication between the receiver and the quarterback, but either way, it's Dan Bailey from the 28. Kicking, actually, ball will be kicked from the 35. Kicks up, and it's good. Bailey one for one so far. And then Dallas takes the lead. Three zip. Kick is away. 
Caught by Jackson in the end zone, and he's going to run it up past the 20. And marked down at the 22, so bad decision to bring it out. Tennessee will start their drive three yards back. And here comes Mariota. No touchdown, or no interceptions so far for him. He's got four touchdowns, though. Excellent production. He needs to maintain that if he wants to win this game. This will be the Titans' first drive of the game. And the first drive is important because it really sets the tone. How's the offense going to match up with the defense? Is it going to be the offense that's going to try and keep the defense at, bot at bay or vice versa? Mariota to Henry on first down. Tries to find the edge. He kind of does. Gets a gain of three. And here's the Titans' offensive unit. Derrick Henry, DeMarco Murray. Both teams are really run heavy, so... This game should go pretty quickly, actually. Not a lot of clock stoppages with all those missed passes. Running formation again for the Titans, second and seven. Mariota will throw out of it and roll to his left, throw over the middle. He's got Delaney Walker for a 16-yard pickup, and that's the Titans' first first down of the game. One catch for 16 so far, and Mariota one for one. Excellent job by Mariota rolling out, and you expect him to run because he's done it all season long, but this time he uncorks it. And Walker wide open over the middle for a good pickup. This could be the last play of the first, depending on if they get the snap off. I don't think it will. So that'll bring us to the second quarter. Cowboys lead in the championship. Three zip. We're back, start of the second quarter. Titans are down three, but with the ball, nine yards short of midfield. Mariota breaks huddle. And comes out in the eye. Cowboys showing zone. And Henry gets the ball. Goes nowhere. Second and ten now. Titans break huddle. Rush out to the line. Mariota's alone in the backfield. Five wide. Mariota second and ten. Runs up the field. He's got space. Makes a defender miss. Takes a tackle, and he's down at the 38. One rush, good for 20. That's really impressive. I Now I thought he was going to throw it. Instead, he runs. I think that was a designed QB draw. And if number 22 had a better block, he could have sprung Mariota for even more. First and ten, six minutes left in the first half. Mariota under center. Mariota hands to Henry, and Henry's got space. He's got a first past the 20, and he's brought out of bounds at the 18. So that's the biggest rush of the game so far. And 
Tennessee is well within field goal range now. Look at this. No one, once he splits the tackles, no one out there for 10, 15 yards. Bunch to his right, Mariota under center. Mariota will throw. Dump off to his receiver, Murray, who runs out of bounds after a pickup of about four. And that brings up second and seven. They'll call it a gain of three. Kind of a mistake by Murray right there. To run out of bounds. He could have gotten at least two or three more yards before stepping out. We'll see if that matters. Four wide. Mariota in the gun. Mariota to Murray. And he gets about three yards. His first rush of the game brings up third and four. And this will be the Titans' first third down of the game. It's going to come from Dallas's 11-yard line. Third and four, he could run, he could pass. They're showing run. Mariota will throw instead. And he's got Walker over the middle. First down, Titans. First third down conversion of the game. And the Cowboys just can't get a stop. So, first and goal from the four, I'd expect three straight runs, especially from the Titans. Clock running under three and a half to play in the first half. Cowboys expecting a run, and they do get him down. It's a loss of three, blows up the play. Demarcus Lawrence gets credit for the tackle for loss. Just came unblocked. So, plans change now from the seven. I'd expect one of these plays to be a pass, unless they run it and they run it for four or more yards, I would say. Mariota in the gun. He'll throw, rolls to his right. And he fumbles the ball. Ball's picked up by Irving, who can't stay up. Dallas recovers and saves themselves three points. That's one of the dangers of running your quarterback. Can't afford to take all those hits. He doesn't have that ball control, that strength. And that'll cost the Titans three, at least if not seven. So Dallas's defense comes up big right there. And that is the first turnover that the Titans have suffered in Mad Madness, and it comes at a pretty inconvenient time. So Prescott will come out alone in the shotgun, five wide. Nearly gets him to draw offsides. He's thrown from his end zone, and Cole Beasley catches it. Near a first down. Brings up second and inches. And that's just got to be so demoralizing for Tennessee. You get a chance to take the lead, or at least tie the ball game, and you turn the ball over on your first drive of the game. Well, second and inches on the other side of the two-minute warning, which we have indeed reached. Cowboys up three. All right, Titans and Cowboys. Mad Madness Championship on the line. Second and inches for the Cowboys.
Tennessee will get the ball to start the second half. Titans showing blitz. It's Prescott. Can't stay on his feet, otherwise he'd have the first down. He ends up losing a few. Loss of about three. Brings up third and three. And the Cowboys have struggled on third down throughout Madden Madness. Under 33%. So Tennessee's got to be licking their chops. Dallas decides to run the clock a bit before this next play. Trying to minimize their risk. Prescott will throw. Third and three. It's his tight end, Jason Witten, who's got a first. So that is the Cowboys' first third down conversion of the game. And it comes with a minute left in the first half. And that was big. Because, wow, you've still got a long way for a field goal. You don't even need to score here. Just being able to run out the clock it should be a victory in itself. Dallas takes a timeout. 61 seconds. Don't have to go for the field goal, but they definitely will. Another note for the Titans who have not turned the ball over yet in Mad Men as they just did on their last series. Look at these scores that they won by. Titans 10 to 7, 0 turnovers. Titans 17 to 7 over the Browns, 0 turnovers. Titans 11 to 14, 0 turnovers. Titans versus Jags 7 to 3, so 3 of those 4 games are one possession games. And no turnovers, that could be a big difference here. With the turnover added to the equation as Prescott misses his man. Throws too long. Sets up second and ten now. And that stops the clock. Cowboys might be in trouble again if they get another incompletion. Tennessee might be able to see the ball before the end of the half. Cowboys running with Elliott, low snap, and he falls forward for a gain of about three, brings up third and seven. Cowboys face another third down. All right, third and seven. Cowboys are one for two so far on third down, their previous conversion coming on this drive on the last set of downs. It was a third and three though, this is a third and seven. Definitely a lot more difficult. See what they got up their sleeve. Four wide for the Cowboys, Titans showing blitz. Prescott rolls to his right. Throws. Incomplete. Stops the clock with 48 seconds, and Tennessee will indeed get the ball and a chance to tie or take the lead before the start of halftime. Cowboys back to punt. It's Jones. Punts it. Booming kick. Caught at the 16 by Jackson, who makes a man miss. Two men. Third man gets him down, though, right at the 30. 38 seconds, three timeouts. Definitely enough time to get downfield if you want to chance it. Tennessee gets the ball to start the second half. So if they don't get anything here, they have another shot on the other side. See what they elect to do here how conservatively they play it. First and ten, three wide. 
Mariota throws and he's got Davis just like that they're at midfield just about Tennessee takes a timeout to stop the clock alright we're back play was good for about 18 33 seconds left before halftime Tennessee with the chance to tie or possibly take the lead two timeouts for Tennessee and they didn't have any trouble really getting down the field on their first drive pattern seems to be repeating itself as Mariota lines up in the gun Mariota tries to split the tackles again but ends up getting tackled right at the line brings up second and ten and Tennessee is forced to take another timeout they have one remaining so from the 48 they really need maybe 12 12 to 15 yards to get in the field goal range second and ten you can definitely take a shot here you can use the entire field as well 28 seconds is enough time to get up there and spike the ball Mariota will throw rolls to his left he's got pressure steps up field he's got a first past the 30 wow what a run and Titans will take a timeout instead of trying to spike it 16 seconds left alright 16 seconds before halftime balls at the 20 Tennessee with a chance to tie the game at 3 or possibly take the lead if you want to be risky they will not they'll just settle for three from the 20 kicks up it's good by a mile Tennessee ties the game at three with 13 seconds left so it seems we'll go into halftime with a tied ball game no touchdowns yet score is tied at three Switzer back to return the kick Balls in the air. Caught on the eye of the Saints logo, and he runs it out. Short of the 25 at the 24 with 10 seconds left. If I'm Dallas, I'm just going to come out and kneel this thing. You don't really want to try anything. Maybe a run, quick pitch or something. Maybe you can break something big, but definitely don't want to get too risky and turn the ball over on this part of the field. They will run a play actually, running formation for the Cowboys. Oh, Hand off to Elliott. And Elliott's going to be brought down. Cowboys take a timeout. They're actually going to try a Hail Mary here with four seconds left.
It will be a Hail Mary. Prescott throws immediately. the halftime show welcome to the start of the second half where the Cowboys will be the ones to kick it off first Tennessee will get the ball tied at three and the kick is away now and officially we're starting the second half caught on the A and brought up to the 23 where the Titans will go to work Out comes Marcus Mariota, trying to do better than he did in the first half. Was able to get down the field relatively easily on both drives, but on one he ran out of time, and on the other, fumbled the football. Let's see if he can do a little bit better now on his third try. Titans come out for the first play of the second half. Running formation for the offense. Stalker in motion. Put up the gut to Henry. And Henry's blown up. That's a tone setter, isn't it? Lost a two on the play. Two guys in the area. They just... Couldn't block, really. They had trouble blocking. Titans in the eye. Hand off to Henry. And Henry's blown up again. That brings up third and 14 now for the Titans. Not the best position you want to be in after the first two plays of the game. So third and 14, Mariota will likely have to pass here, which is exactly what the Cowboys want. Three wide. Mariota in the gun. Takes the handoff. Throws deep. Nearly picked off. Brings up fourth and 14, and that drive only lasted 31 seconds. Had it in his hands, but Orlando Skandrick with the. Great defense, knocks it down. So Tennessee's defense will get out there sooner than anticipated as Tennessee's back in the punting formation. It's blocked. Punt is blocked. Picked up by the Cowboys. March Lillier into the end zone for a Cowboys touchdown. What a play. Cowboys special teams coming in big. So it seems that Tennessee's offense will be out there again sooner than anticipated. Cowboys extra point. 
Kick is up. And it's good. So just like that, Cowboys are in a seven-point lead. I guess the good news for Tennessee is Dallas wasn't able to milk the clock with an actual drive. So down seven points. It's almost like you get some extra time to make up for that mistake. Kicks up and away. Caught deep in the end zone by Jackson, who elects to take a knee. That'll march it out to the 25. And that's where that man right there... Mariota will walk onto the field and start his second drive of the half, just 36 seconds into it. So one thing's for certain, you don't want to go three and out. You don't want to see the punt team for the rest of the game after giving up seven points like that. I believe that was their first punt of the game as well. Running formation for the Titans. Takes the handoff. It's Mariota. Rolls. Steps up. And he's sprinting. Makes a man miss. Gain of 13 on the play. So that's a better way to start. The drive for the Titans. And that just might be what Mariota has to do to win this game. It's what he's done to win the last four is win it with his feet. Makes the man miss right there. And if injuries were turned on, I'd say that's a dangerous hit to take. But instead, just dangerous in the sense that you don't want to have him fumble the football. Four wide. Mariota in the gun. Hand to Henry, and Henry's got space. Henry from 138 to the other 40. That's a 22-yard pickup, his second big run of the game. Just under four and a half minutes to play here in the third quarter. Tennessee's going to break huddle and come out in a running formation. Smith in motion. Delayed handoff. It's a fake handoff. Rolls away from the pressure, but he can't get away. He's brought down for a big sack. It's Demarcus Lawrence. His second sack of the game. It's a loss of nine. And just like that, Titans are out of field goal range. You see that Mariota? Saw him at the last second try to get away, but it was too late by that point. Thought he was going to get away for a second, but Lawrence was able to just break off his guy and get on Mariota. So second and 19 now. Let's see what the Titans can do here. Run with Henry up the gut. And Henry gets a tough five. Out to the 44, third and 14 now for the Titans. So the goal here should be not to force anything downfield. Obviously take it if it's open, but you definitely want to get into field goal range. You want at least six yards. Fake handoff. Mariota runs to his right. Throws on the run. And he had Decker for a second, but Decker drops the ball. Brings up fourth and 14. And now Tennessee will have to punt instead of taking three. So 
They've been on this side of the field three times and only gotten points once. Let's see if they can have a better punt this time. Kern boots it. No block this time. It sails out of bounds at the 13. So pretty good kick for number six. And that's where Dallas will begin their drive. Elliott's got a good yards per carry, but he's only got five rushes so far. Him and Alfred Morris are actually pretty close, almost neck and neck in carries. Kind of a curious decision by Dallas. Running formation for the Cowboys. Hannah in motion. Hand off to Elliott, and Elliott's blown up in the backfield. It's a loss of three. Brings the Cowboys back to their own ten. And the Titans, while being down in the game, are winning the time possession battle. And that's a recipe for danger. Those long drives are nice, but you got to be able to score on those drives to make them actually work for you. Under two to play in the third. Another running formation for the offense. Prescott under center. He's going to hand to Elliott, and Elliott's got space. Brought down across the 23, make it the 24, and it's going to be a first down. That's got to be debilitating. Very frustrating for the Titans' defense. They had him stopped. They were starting to get into that third, second and long, which could have easily turned into third and long, but instead they give up a cheap first down by Elliott. Can't have too many more of those plays. Already down seven points, getting towards the end of this one. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott's got space again. He's down at the 35. First down, Cowboys. If the Cowboys can just keep this going and milk the clock, this could be a drive that does the Titans in. They'll turn it into a two possession game and make it mid fourth quarter or so. Tennessee's in trouble. And in motion. And off to Morris this time. And Morris gets three out to the 38, and that might bring us to the end of the third quarter. It appears that it will. So we'll see you on the other side when we get ready to start the fourth. Cowboys have the lead and the ball, trying to put this game away. Up 10 to 3. Alright, start of the fourth quarter. Second and six coming up for the Cowboys. Seven minutes left. If Dallas can hang on, they'll be champions. Got a ways to go yet, though, as the Cowboys come out in the running formation. Swaim in motion. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott's got space. First down easily, and maybe an extra ten on top of that. Elliott just doing what he does best. Prescott comes out in the eye. Running formation for the offense again. Hand off to Elliott right. And Elliott's got space. Once again, another big run for number 21. Brings us to about six minutes left. And Dallas is already in field goal range.
it just it's just got that feeling that the Cowboys have control. They've had control since the beginning of the game. A fumble, a block punt. Now up seven, running the clock late. Elliott unable to be stopped. Swayman motion. Prescott to Morris. And Morris is going to be brought down. Gain of about one. And Tennessee needs a stop here. They can't give up seven. Obviously, ideally, if you're a Titans fan, you want back-to-back -back sacks to bring the Cowboys out of field goal range or make Dan Bailey kick a far one, which he's missed several of so, so far. Going back to the Vikings game. Hand off to Morris, and Morris has a hole on second down. Goodbye, Morris. Touchdown, Cowboys. And that's Morris's first touchdown of Madden Madness. Coming in game five. And the Titans just have no answers. That was vintage Alfred Morris. Extra point now. Dan Bailey. And that makes it a 14 point game. So now down 14 points. Tennessee not completely out of it, but they need 7 points and they need them pretty quickly. And the kick is away. Caught by Jackson, who's going to double check his decision to run out of the end zone and ultimately decide to take a touchback. Number 25 takes 25 free yards, and Mariota's coming out now. Down 14. Just under five minutes to play. Not impossible, but pretty dang close. They need 14 points in a perfect game, basically, from here on out. If they want to force overtime and give themselves a chance to win this game. Four wide. Mariota in the gun. It's Mariota. He's too long for his man. It falls incomplete. Brings up second and ten. And you don't need to panic. You still have time. You. Take the check down, don't force anything big. You're not going to get 14 points back in one play. You still have three timeouts, so. And the two minute warning. Flag down, this might be a false start. And believe it or not, that's the first. That's the first penalty of the game. That brings up second and 15 now. Four wide. Mariota in the gun. Mariota. Surveys, steps up, and he's going to be brought down for a sack. It's Collins. 
That's going to bring up third and 16 now, and the Cowboys can sniff victory. Mariota has not been able to run. He's gotten one big play with his legs, maybe, two good plays. Cowboys have been able to get to him, unlike other teams. See that hole close up and he had to redirect. Ultimately forcing the sack. So, third and 16 now from their own 19. They could be in four down territory. They quite likely will be, depending on how this play goes. Mariota throws. Hits Matthews. Gains nine, but that's not going to bring up a first. Hits decision time. Fourth and seven from their own 28. Could they go for this? Clock running. Offense is coming off the field. Just kidding. <laughs> They're going to go for this thing for the game. More than likely. Mariota surveys, throws. Ball falls incomplete. And that brings a turnover on downs. And Dallas has the ball already in field goal range. And now t the Titans really need a, a lot of things to go their way. They could get some sacks and force them to punt the ball, or they can force a turnover, but they don't want to dip into those timeouts yet, already down 14. Once they give up those timeouts, it's it's almost completely over. Running formation. In the eye is Prescott. Hand off to Elliott, and Elliott's got space once again. Untouched for about 15 yards where he's brought down at the 14. 121 yards on only 11 rushes. Just can't be stopped. He's untouched. That line is just something else. Under three minutes now. Titans showing blitz. Elliott brought down. They finally get to him. One of his only bad runs of the game. And that brings up second and 11. They'll probably just run this thing down to the two minute warning. They will. So second and 11 on the other side. Welcome back. We're in the final stretch now on the short side of the two minute warning. Cowboys with the ball and in prime position to come away as champions. High formation for the Cowboys. Quick pitch to Elliott. And Elliott is going to be brought down after a five yard gain. And Tennessee is going to be forced to take a timeout. All right. Other side of the timeout now, third and six. Could be a running play. Normally it wouldn't be, but the way Elliott's running the ball, I might chance it. Actually, I would chance it. It would actually be the conservative play, so I would definitely expect Tennessee to load the box. And I would expect Dallas to load their line. 
<laughs> they'll do the opposite. They'll throw here from third and six. Kind of a dangerous decision here. Prescott for the end zone. Caught by Butler. So it works out. Tennessee's forced to take another timeout. What a play call. So that's a gain of nine. That makes it first and goal. And this game's just about over. Prescott throws a pick right there. It's Tennessee would still be in big trouble, but now it seems to be just a matter of time. Cowboys will break huddle now. I would expect three straight runs here. Prescott to Elliott. He's brought down. Ball's loose. Picked up by the Titans. Sylvester Williams. Wow. Still a two possession game, but this gives Titans fans some hope. So Titans offense will come out now with a new ray of hope. Still down 14 under two minutes. This would be insane if they could even make it a seven point game. Three receivers. Mariota throwing from his own goal line. Inside his goal line, he steps up. Throws on the run. He's got Davis. Brought down at the 21. In the hurry up. Mariota surveys. Throws on the run again. He's got Davis a second time, and he gets out of bounds. Stops the clock at minute 25 left. Good job by Davis catching the ball and knowing to get out of bounds. Seventeen to three. If Tennessee can get this touchdown, it'll come down to an onside kick. Alone in the backfield is Mariota. Five wide. Sail toward the sideline. And it's dropped. Clock stops with 80 seconds left. Three wide. Mariota throws. It's Matthews on the slant. Clock running. They're going to rush back to the line. It's third and one. Mariota rolls to his right and up the field. He's got space. Slides down. Dumb decision by Mariota. Could have ran out of bounds, stopped the clock. Instead, they're going to lose about 20 seconds trying to spike the ball. I get the spike off with 50 ticks left. Three wide, Mariota in the gun. Mariota steps up, surveys, throws deep, and it's caught by Smith. Ball's down at the five. Mariota sprints to the line. They want to get a quick spike off. 
stop the clock as soon as possible. And they do stop the clock with 33 seconds left. Brings up second and goal now. And Tennessee can make this a one possession game late. Second and goal. Last time they are in this situation, they fumbled. Mariota surveys, throws for the end zone. He's got a touchdown. Smith. That's the fifth touchdown of the season for Mariota. And it's a one-score game. One extra point away from a one-score game. And that's all Tennessee wanted was a chance. And a chance is what they got. Extra point is up. It's a seven point game. Under 30 seconds to play. It's going to come down to an onside kick. Biggest kick of suck ups season and is last, possibly. Onside kick, here we go. Cowboys recover, and Beasley assures the, that the Cowboys will win the championship. Tennessee had a chance late, but it all came down to an onside kick, and Dallas had the hands team out there. So it should be just a couple of kneel downs at this point. And that man right there is the player of the game. 124 yards. He only touched the ball about, what, 12 or 15 times? Did have a fumble loss, though. But without him, I don't think Dallas would have had a chance to win this game or even be in this game in the first place. And the Cowboys come out in the victory formation. Tennessee burns their last time out. So, as they take the knee, let's look at the bracket for the last time. And there you see it. The Cowboys will win the championship and become the first Madden Madness champion. What a season. One final kneel down should do it. And that's the final play of the season. They're going to break huddle and pretend to take this snap, but they really don't need to. And the Cowboys are officially Mad Madness champions. What a journey it's been for them. From beating the defending Super Bowl champions in round one, to meeting the Legion of Boom and the Red Hot Vikings before finally beating the Scrappy Titans. It has been some season for the Cowboys, and if any team has earned this championship, it's been them. Thanks for watching this season. It's been a blast to produce, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. This video marks the end of Madden Madness, and that means only one thing. NFL football is finally here.
Stay tuned to the channel for updates about that. And until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying have a good one.